It's dark and gloomy outside, rainy, just as forecasted. It's seven o'clock now, lowest tide right now, and I'm thinking of going on a little river adventure at nine o'clock when the tide is two hours up. And I'm gonna take this fresh morning to bake some bread. Time that I'm waiting for the dough to rise, I'm gonna do some chores. The good thing about doing dishes while it's raining is they get a free fresh rinse. I usually do my dishes just with uh, salt water, and then some of the things, like some of my nice knives or a grater or my coffee pot. They get a little bit of a rinse with fresh water. But mostly it's salt. And I have this little coconut husk scrubby. Works really well. And you can find them everywhere. So you're never running out of dishwashing scrubbies. Well, if you're somewhere where palm trees grow. Rainy days are the perfect days for editing videos, obviously. But there's a little bit of a problem. Because usually when it rains, there's no sun. No sun means bad power situation. So, unfortunately, my power situation on Carl is... No bueno at the moment, so I'm gonna work a little bit this morning. So I have about 75% of battery left on my computer. So I'm gonna work that off. And then once I'm done with that, I'll have to start the engine and charge the batteries a little bit. Rainy days are also super great for crafting because it doesn't take a lot of uh, power. So if you wonder what I've been doing with all that rope that I salvaged from the beach the other day, this is one of the baskets that I made from it and uh, it's actually already sold. One of my followers, uh, Randy, has purchased this little beauty for his friend Jorge. So this one's for you, Jorge. Thanks for being in motion with us and salvaging plastic ropes from the beaches. Surprise, surprise, I am a little bit late. Anyway, so it's quarter past nine. I wanted to leave at nine. It's quarter past. Academical quarter. I packed a little lunch pack and I've got all my camera gear. That's it. I think it's more of a day of mosquito repellent than sunscreen. But you never know, so better take both. I think what other women might have is a collection of handbags or clutches or whatever i have a collection of dry bags <laughs> i have like my rucksack dry bag that unfortunately has a couple of holes by now but it's sort of still okay but don't put any too important things in there i have another newer one that's still really good and fairly large so that i usually use for important camera stuff and then i've got two new ones so it's kind of like mommy daddy and like the two little kids 
bags, the kids' bags are right now for camera and phone, so I have easy access to them and I don't have to move around too much in a big bag. I look a little bit as if I'm going on a three-week vacation with my kayak, but hey, you never know what you're going to encounter. Off we go! Looks like a fun ride into the river there. See some waves breaking. Wow, wait, wait. Little swell. Slightly wet butt, but made it in. That already made my day. There is a two spotted eagle rays just at the entrance here of the river. And there is swimming by really close. I love them, they're really beautiful. The Bauhaus guidebook advises to come in here at a third of a rising tide. So that would be two hours after low tide. I am now two and a half, nearly three hours after low tide. And I'm bottoming out with my kayak quite a bit. And there's a lot of rocks too. You might want to be careful taking your dinghy. Kayak, totally. Dinghy, so much. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I should take, be more looking where I'm going and not talking to the camera so much. <laughs> nope. Fine. That gig didn't go as smooth as planned, but here's the next one to try. No way. This one, yes, but this one not. Eh eh. Hmm. So far, it's been an adventure very much to my liking.
Okay, I think I might have disturbed a little crocodile up there. I'd really love to keep on going up the river, but although these crocodiles are supposedly more one of the mellow tempered species, I think I'll probably better turn around and call it a day. I'm calling it quits. There's probably enough <laughs> crocodiles that I already came past but didn't see them. Shit, I think that was just another one that got disturbed by me and like splashed into the water right next to me. Didn't see it, but it looked like it. Now the tide is coming in really strongly. <laughs> so, you can see how the river gets its water for sure. It means a bit more work to me. Since I thought I would be here a little longer. But now I don't feel like calm little <laughs> lunch somewhere here with the Largato. Hay lagato grande! Banana! Lagato! Lagato! Wow. <laughs> I was trying to tell him about the crocodile. He was like, yeah, banana. I'm like, okay. Well, I still made it up the river. One and a half hours. Not too bad. It was a beautiful little trip. <laughs> a little scary in the end with two of those crocodiles fleeing from me, but they were probably more scared than I was, but I definitely felt scared. Man, this day was forecasted completely rainy and look at it. A little bit of rain in the morning and now it's just perfect. Quarter to eight, quarter of an hour before low tide. I'm gonna pick up anchor here now in Rio Casica and I'm gonna move over to the anchorage where the submarine is. It was really beautiful here, really calm, which was nice, and now it's time to move on. But more about that next time. Mini dolphin. Holy moly, I'm doing 3.7 and I'm basically in height. Holy shit, that's a crazy current.